Chevrolet sale when life gives you more. This is TV18. And you're watching CNBC TV18. Presented by Hindustan Unilever Limited. Hello and welcome to Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 4. I'm Sandeep Srikant. Today's show is dedicated to the wildcard entries, the three teams who will enter this competition at the semi-final stage and give India's top 12 B schools a run for their money. Since Lime Season 3, due to popular public demand, we've opened up this platform to any B school that wishes to participate. The response has been phenomenal. As many as 367 teams from management institutes across India applied for the opportunity this year. After an exhaustive selection process, nine teams were shortlisted. They came from XIM Bhuvaneshwar, IIFT Delhi, NMIMS Mumbai, Pune University, MDI Gurgaon, IIT Delhi and IMT Ghaziabad. And they fought it out for two of the three wildcard spots up for grabs. It means a lot to be shortlisted for the next wildcard round because there were around 400 colleges that were competing for this round and to be in the top nine and to be competing with other big B schools of India, it is a great opportunity that we like to bank on. Getting shortlisted into Lime wildcard round was amazing and it was probably the happiest moment of our lives and uh, the whole Men uh, Mendavian family, it came together in our support. Everyone said that we are with you, we go and win the Lime. And uh, so, in a way, Lime brought the whole MDA family together. We are actually very excited and it is like, uh, probably we can write, uh, rate it among the top biggest achievements that we've actually had so far. It feels very good to be, uh, uh, be representing our uh, college exam. We, uh, it's a great opportunity for us and it's a great opportunity for the people to learn and uh, uh, they can see that uh, if we have made it uh, here, people can also make it here. The wildcard teams were selected on the basis of their solutions to a case from Hindustan Unilever for its personal wash brand, Lifebuoy. Take a look at the challenge. The rise of epidemics globally has led to a shift in the skin cleansing market towards health and hygiene products. And the liquid hand wash category has been the fastest growing in this space. However, for Lifebuoy, which is the world's largest health and hygiene brand by volume, this format contributes to just 10% of the brand's overall turnover. Over the past three years, Lifebuoy has been promoting the unique product proposition of 99.9% .9 germ protection in just 10 seconds. The challenge for the brand and for the teams now is to use this proposition and develop and grow the hand wash category. The first thing that I want to look at is, is how will the teams take this proposition forward and what will they do to build upon this proposition uh, to drive the conversion from bar soaps to liquid hand wash. Uh, the second thing for me is uh, how do they do that in a very cost effective way uh, and the reason for that is that the hand wash in the market today is very small, just about 5% of, of the total market and, and therefore we do not have a big budget to drive the hand wash market. So how, how do teams come up with cost effective solutions using uh, the media of the tomorrow uh, to, to actually drive the 10 second message. So these were the specific deliverables from the teams. A strategy to get bar soap users to switch to liquid hand wash, thereby driving penetration. A marketing model that drives conversion using the proposition of 99.9% .9 germ kill in just 10 seconds. And also an idea for one new variant and a launch strategy for it that requires minimal media spend. The nine shortlisted teams made their case in front of a jury at the CNBC TV 18 studios in Mumbai. We'll take a short break here but when we come back we'll tell you what strategies they brought to the table. It was uh, really a very proud moment for us uh, last year to have won this uh, coveted award. National Advisors Award, uh, the best uh, in the independent recognition, gives a lot of credential to us for acquiring new relationships. So this award definitely means a lot to us. UTI Mutual Fund and CNBC TV 18 present the Financial Advisor Awards 2012-2013. Nominate yourself today. Presenting sponsor UTI Mutual Fund. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully. Associate sponsor Allahabad Bank. Har kadam aapke saath. Powered by Ikra. Yes, sir. Boss, can't come. My wife is very serious. Take care, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come 
Yes, sir. Boss, can't come. My dog bit my mother in law. Okay. Hello? Sid, I need you to handle this meeting. You see, my dog has bitten my father in law. Father in law? <laughs> Mahindra Quanto, live the weekend life. If I show on the 28th of February that we have kept the fiscal deficit to below 5.3 and if my budget estimates show that the next year's fiscal deficit will be below 4.8 then I can show a healthy growth in revenues over next year. That is the time when a uh, rating agency should consider improving the outlook when the economy requires, when the government requires more resources. The very rich should willingly pay a little more. That is not to say that tax rate should not be stable. How will the finance minister balance the fisc and yet come out with a growth budget? Budget 2013. Fixing the fisc. Aditya Birla Group presents Budget 2013. The last flourish at these times. Brought to you by Minani Cement दुनिया के लिए ये सिर्फ लाइट है पर यहाँ शादी की भी रोशनी होती है और रोशनी की भी शादी दिया मतलब दिवाली और कभी कभी घरवाली हम जानते हैं आपके लिए रोशनी क्या मायने रखती है इसलिए हमारी लाइट देती है 20 परसेंट ज्यादा रोशनी फिलिप्स जिंदगी की रौनक पैसा हो या लाइफ इंश्योरेंस हमेशा डबल श्योर होना ही अच्छा है थैंक यू मैम तभी तो पंजाब नेशनल बैंक और मिड लाइफ ने मिलके बनाया पी एन बी मिड लाइफ हुआ ना डबल श्योर वेलकम बैक नाइन टीम्स फ्रॉम बी स्कूल अक्रॉस इंडिया वो शॉर्ट लिस्टेड टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द लाइव सीजन फॉर वाइल्ड कार्ड राउंड They were vying for two out of the three spots in the semi-final stage of the competition. The first team, NMIMS or Narsi Munji Institute of Management Studies in Mumbai, said that it's not price but convenience that influences the customer. Why would your first strategy be to have a price promotion? Because price was actually the least important of the factors. Their solutions included packaging improvements like spout pouches, a wall hanging holder, one-time use sachets to replace paper soap, and travel packs. They also suggested driving the 10 second proposition through Facebook games and a gel variant to attract kids. How will you put forth building these newer variants while remaining true to what you have uncovered as the most unique bit about Life Boys proposition which is the 10 second bit. Our main driving factor is kids because kids are getting attracted towards better fragrances and colors. The team from Xavier's Institute of Management Bhubaneswar said children were the biggest influencers of hand wash usage. They suggested a game involving 10 kids from 10 schools competing for the Germ Warrior Badge. Germ Warrior Badge is making them accountable. Other promotional activities suggested were a 10 second salad making competition, a mobile hand wash facility called Health on Wheels and a transparent bottle with a nozzle shaped like a cartoon character. What I worry about is I'm not sure what is the single most important thing that you will do at this touch point. We are uh, stressing upon uh, the 10 seconds uh, thing like 10 second salad competition so that we give out the idea of Life Boy's germ kill in just 10 seconds. The proposition that Life Boy hand wash has currently, is that good enough? Changing that proposition, it would be diluting in the consumer's mind, it would be a sheer confusion. There were two teams shortlisted from IIT Delhi. The first one, Team Firecracker, concentrated on getting consumers to use different products for bathing and hand washing. Their big idea, the same soap chi campaign to drive home the need for a separate toilet soap. Where are the choices you're making? How can we do five campaigns on one brand? Won't you leave the consumer really confused? Only where we choose to actually run the campaign is who are going to target. If germ killing is the single biggest factor and I am willingly vacating that and focusing on other peripheral aspects of my product or proposition, doesn't that work against me? People know when they have to wash their hands. It's just that they just don't go and wash their hands. The other IIT Delhi team called DVK found out that a big barrier to using liquid hand wash was the perception that it was expensive and the fact that children wasted the product. Their solutions were a modified packaging with a one-drop nozzle and bundled packs. 
They also came up with a number of point to sale suggestions such as better placement in stores to increase visibility and free trials. Would you do anything, any communication, any activity, any product design that would pitch Life Boy hand wash as something that kids would tell their mothers they want yeah, to We use. actually had two different two campaigns. One is that malls campaigns at schools and the second one what we thought was a comic strip like to add it along with that uh, uh, Life Boy dispenser. If it is about proving that liquids are better than bars, what's wrong with what Life Boy is doing today? Why is that not strong enough? We have to make the customer experience, then probably buy the product. Team Manthan, the first of two teams from IMT or Institute of Management Technology, Ghaziabad, identified the prolonged use of Reckitt and Benkiser's Dettol as the biggest barrier to adoption. They suggested activation in schools, B2B collaboration and format innovations like paper soaps. One of their big ideas was to generate advocacy from medical practitioners and hospitals, a strategy that didn't particularly go down well with the jury. What would be LifePoy's route in to these medical institutions, to these doctors, to get advocacy from them, given that we don't have an antiseptic liquid? Induce the doctors to recommend it. Their in incentive was that what they get out of it. If, the, uh, if your uh, salesman comes up and gives them an offer, they are ready for it. I, I still believe and I hope that doctors are a little different from hotels even today. The second team from IMT Ghaziabad emphasized on better placement in shop shelves and offers like free napkins, bundled packages and free refills with dispensers to accelerate retail sales. They also recommended a new moisturizing variant called Lifeboy Touch with pink colored packaging to draw more women, especially mothers. We should stop advertising on TV and only focus on point of sale. In this category, the major decision is taken at the point of sale. Isn't it far more imperative for me to build a brand rather than get displays correct in Sir, store? Lieboy already has a lot of brand value and a lot of brand connect. The team from IIFT or Indian Institute of Foreign Trade Delhi came with a lot of expectations riding on it since their seniors cracked a wildcard spot last year. They created four unique target segments with a customized strategy for each. Some of their ideas to promote life by hand wash were a mobile wash basin, heightened marketing in the monsoon season, a life by anthem targeting children as well as attractive limited edition dispensers to attract children. What is the one recommendation that convinces Mrs. Chadda that in spite of the fact that she's spent all her life using soap and that hand wash is more expensive, okay. she should still use Life Boy hand wash? Be it Rohan, be it Mrs. Chadda, uh, these people are busy and when you come to Bunty or to Nisha, they are the people who do not have that much patience to take care of their own health, like they will wash for a minute or a two. At the so same for them, time, time is the factor which is what where we are counting on that will be able to convince them that it is only just a matter of 10 seconds and you are able to preserve your health. The team from Pune University's MBA program focused primarily on changes to Lifeboy's packaging and SKUs. They recommended cartoon-shaped dispensers to attract kids and 75-day packs to initiate prolonged and economical usage. They also came up with a few innovative campaign ideas to push the 10-second proposition. This leads to unbridled joy within the heart of a mother which says Mera beta abhi haad dhone laga hai and this leads to joy within the HUL's life boy family too. So you can probably go into the current uh, market, cartoon market of India and see which cartoon is going on and come out with a dispenser that's related to that. Don't I run the risk of becoming a kiddies toy brand? Maybe next up we could start a cartoon channel as well. Because really what you're saying is that there's no way in the world we can you know, battle a competitor head-on on, on uh, the core of the category. MDI Gurgaon looked confident and unfazed by the pressure they were under. Last year, this institute also won a wildcard spot in the semi-finals. The team focused on communicating Lifeboy's 10-second proposition through comic strips and magazines, weaving messages into radio programming and 10-second germ buster mobile games. What was this thought about combining the hand wash and the sanitizer? I didn't understand that. People attach huge superior value to the sanitizer. It removes the germs and it also kills the germs. The first of two teams to get through this round and into the semi-finals was IIFT Delhi. The team from IIFT actually what stood out about them is that they took the consumer research and took a leap on that and actually added personality profiles and actually gave us a much closer feel of the consumer segments that, that exist in the market. Uh, that was one. 
Uh, but the second thing that was spectacular about them was their use of media channels. They really understood uh, media channels. They took the obvious channels that everyone spoke about, but took a second leap on top of them, spoke about how you can do, go beyond the obvious, and the usage of touch points really made their uh, ideas much more innovative than the other teams. The other wildcard spot was backed by MDI Gurgaon, the highest scorers in this round. I think we picked the team from MDI because of their strategic clarity. Uh, they are the one team who dedicated their entire efforts at winning this battle by building a brand. They had one proposition, they said it's working and they just wanted to take that across different touch points to as many consumers as possible. Do it over and over again, do it with as many people as possible. One message works for us. It wasn't easy for these teams from MDI and IIFT to get to this stage, but their battle has just begun. Next week, they'll be up against the best teams from India's top B schools. But taking the competition to a whole new level will be the international wildcard team. That's the new twist on Lime this year. I'll tell you more after this break. steal your sleep. I will make you weep. I will eat your time. I will make you mine. I am the birthday forgotten. The weekend cut short. I will tease you away from the friends that you've got. I will push your limits. Never let you submit. I will make you charge on in the face of defeat. I am obsessive, compulsive, addictive, seductive. I will own you and tear you and squeeze you and wear you. I am your dream. I bring you joy and glory and I revolutionize. I am your dream and I ask you to rise. CNBC TV 18. Hello dreamers. India's and Asia's largest gear manufacturer, Elecon, always a step ahead in technology. At the end of the day, the budget is all about taxes. Will the FM be able to bridge the fiscal gap without raising taxes? Catch Budget 2013, Taxing Times. Aditya Birla Group presents Budget 2013, The Last Flourish. At these times, only on CNBC TV 18. Brought to you by Vinani Cement. And Lloyd AC, India's most trusted air conditioner brand since 57 years. This week on the show, Padmaja Ruparel, Saurabh Srivastava and Raman Roy of the Indian Angel Network. You have built companies successfully from scratch on your own. Uh, then you know what it takes. I will only teach you how to fish, but you have to fish. But there are people who come back and say, catch the first 10 fish and show me before I start fishing. We had to educate much more than just invest. And that is what we tried to do through IMI. ups and downs. We help you bounce back. Max for life. We innovate to make your travel experience congestion free. We envision a greener tomorrow where abundant power empowers you. Skies and cleaner air to breathe. Hitachi, the leader in.
and social innovation business is building cities that are greener and more comfortable to live in through our innovative technologies. Hitachi, inspire the next. Welcome back. One of the things that makes Lessons in Marketing Excellence unique is the constant innovation we bring to the series. Every year, new elements are brought in, making the competition wider in scope than the previous editions. This year, we've taken Lime Global and invited students from international business schools to participate. Seven teams sent in their entries to the Lifeboy case. They came from the Wharton School of Business, Pennsylvania, the London Business School, and the Asian Institute of Management, Philippines. Three of these teams were shortlisted, and they presented their solutions to a jury in India, vying for the third wildcard spot on Lime. Two teams from the London Business School, or LBS, and one from the Wharton School of Business made it to this shortlist. The first team from LBS was composed of three women from very diverse backgrounds. Candice Mizushima is Japanese-American with work experience in the entertainment industry. Ingrid from France has a PhD in biochemistry and has worked in the area of healthcare. And Molka from Tunisia has been a marketer in the consumer goods space. This team identified modernity and concern for children's health as the key triggers of liquid hand wash usage. Life Boy can get into schools and target schools directly. Our target market. Their strategies included demonstrations and educational videos in schools, building trust through doctors and maternity clinics, and also reaching out to mothers through parenting blogs. So you've said that you will target schools. Have you checked? Have you found out if that's easy to do? Life Boy, the, the, the soap has uh, been uh, presented in school, so we, we think we can uh, build on that experience and build on that relationship. To, um, you know, you, you want it in your everyday life because of its, its germ-filling effectiveness, so it's, it's something that will differentiate but also then add on to the existing message. The second team from LBS called itself Union Jack of All Trades. It had the advantage of one member with first-hand experience of the Indian market. Deepa Balakrishnan went to IIM Lucknow and in fact spent a year working at HUL before moving on to consulting roles with financial services firms in the US. Matt worked in the area of advertising media strategy in New York for five years before this MBA. And Hai Yong Lee, originally from South Korea, is a designer with four years experience at a design and innovation consultancy in the UK. This team recommended a foam variant of Lifebuoy hand wash to make it easier to use. They also suggested using radio and theatre intermission ads to grab the consumer's attention. 10 seconds themed contests to drive home the 10 second proposition and point of purchase communication to convey the economical aspect of using liquid hand wash. Do you think you will not run the risk of diluting authority on germ protection and germ kill? Everybody talks about germ kill, that's a given. What we need to focus on is what is different, what differentiates us, which is the fact that we work in 10 seconds. Do you want to elaborate a bit on uh, the media vehicles that you all will use? For some of the more creative media, some of the less, uh, less traditional media, we might look to e either sponsor restrooms and malls, uh, could also look to do some, uh, some street theater or other street presentations that would be essentially low out of pocket with the intention. Two members of the team from Wharton are originally from India. Ankur has spent over five years at Hindustan Unilever. Ramji Sundararajan from IIT is an entrepreneur and the co-founder of an online fashion retail company. The third member, Nitin Sharma, is an investment professional with over six years experience in the areas of private equity and venture capital. This team focused on conveying the disgust factor of sharing a bar soap in order to drive hand wash sales. They also suggested using schools and hospitals to spread the message and came up with a number of packaging innovations. Some of these were dispensers shaped like a bar soap, vacuum pads to mount them on walls and custom-made dispensers that can only accommodate Lifebuoy refills. It's also a market share game, no matter how small the market is. There are competitors in the business. Um, is there any anything that you've seen competitors do that uh, Lifebuoy hand wash is not doing or could do? What are the lessons there? The type of the positioning of its IT plus fun. It's a more cooler brand, more emotional connection to us. How do you really reduce the overall uh, cost of the product? Creating that awareness you know, the price is not bad, so price is best. At the end of a very interesting Q&A session, the jury picked team Union Jack of All Trades from the London Business School. This will be the 15th institute 
in the semi-finals of Lime Season 4. So what worked uh, well in the favour of the winner is uh, how they built upon the brand proposition of super fast hand wash. Uh, wherein they took the idea and, and made it into a life boy super fast 10 second challenge where they, they actually took things like a Sudoku puzzle which you can't do in 10 seconds and contrasted it to a live boy hand wash which actually does its job in 10 seconds and I think that really brought live the proposition very well. Uh, the second thing was their variant idea of active foam where they linked the generation of uh, cell foaming uh, to greater efficacy which, which further builds the germ-kill credentials of the brand. The competition is just about to get more heated on Lime 4. Next week, all 15 teams will take on one common challenge from Hindustan Unilever. They'll be contending for just three spots in the final leg of Lime, the grand finale. Tune in next week to find out what the first three semi-finalists have to offer. I'll see you then. We thought it was a fantastic opportunity to bring our different experience and knowledge and new learning from the school all together to solve totally different problem for a totally different market. That was our main motivation for entering this competition. This moment, I, I'll have to think about it. Just give me a minute. Uh, our strengths as a team, our strengths complement each other and our striving for excellence and brainstorming at every step has given us this victory. All of you waiting for the announcement. I'm doing the entire presentation. You're doing the entire presentation. Yeah. I think as the competition is increasing and we have uh, teams from national and international team is also there, so level of competition will be high and our expectations is that we'll be up to it. Presented by Hindustan Unilever Limited.